Hello, welcome guys. Um, I want to welcome you to my new do-it-yourself series and in, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to design a professional book cover in 10 minutes tops. So let's jump into the system. Now the first thing you need is um, Photoshop CS4 which is the software I'm going to be using and um, you also need um a book cover atn that's an action script now you're gonna get the download link for both uh at the comment section or the description section of this video so you just look below you just you know click and you download the um software and the action script so once you've done that the first thing you have to do is um you launch you unzip the software and then you install then you launch your software and um, fortunately enough you definitely may not be having all this so this is what you have to do first you go to window you click on actions when you click on actions you have this appear here this is where your action scripts you know appear you see i have tons of action scripts here then um, you click on windows also you click on this character layer i think basically the, these are the things you need to click on just look at what i have on the videos now once you click on them the, the first thing you have to do is you have to go to your actions you make sure that this actions panel is open and then you click on file and on open and you go look for the action script you want to use let me go look for where i have the action script okay now this is the action script you are going to be using and i click on open and so you see the action script appears here now the next thing you want to do is you click on the arrow down and you click on create layout so once you click on create layout the action script gives you a layout like this to take a little bit of time then the layout is being created now while you are doing that you have to think of what you actually want to achieve with your book cover are you designing a book cover for a novel are you des designing a book cover maybe for a course you have actually created so we think about that and um, we quickly look at how now once we have that we already have the template here now you should always make sure that you have your layers panel open if you don't have your layers panel open go to windows click on layers and you have this here so the first thing you want to do is you come to the layer panel you click on it and you come up here you can see there's a bucket here. it's called the paint bucket you just click on it just follow you know what you see in the video you click on the paint bucket down we want to use um, a colored background so that when we finish we are going to have a nice looking ebook cover okay and then we'll click and it fills the background now we'll go back to the pick two now the next thing we want to do is we want to put a type a title here then a subtitle then the author name then an image those are the four basic things we need in a book cover so first you click on this to return it back you click on this uh, little icon here to return it back to black and white we want to use white because we are having a dark background so we click on the text tool and um, click on the screen and then we type The best ebook cover design course. Now you can see when I finished typing that the text actually was into each other. So what we have to do now is to edit the text. If you don't have this character panel here, just go to Windows and click on character and you see the panel you know appear on your side 
uh, window. So I have highlighted it by clicking and dragging on all the you know text. I'll come here. This is the text line spacing. If I put it on auto, you can see it will automatically space it. Then here I can choose my text. Let's just use a simple text for now. Uh, like this. Uh, simple, simple, simple text. Okay, I think this is okay. Now we come to the paragraph here. Uh, we centralize our text and then drag it to the center now this uh your text might not actually be showing you know the the transform to box all you have to do is um you go to you go to here auto select you click you mark this and you come here show transform and you mark this so whenever you you know create a new you just make sure that you mark those two and you'll be able to select you know highlight or pick up your text so the next thing we want to do now is just to enlarge the text go back to character and uh, you come to text size here this is the text size try to enlarge it okay that is good you can as well drag in order to you know make it look the way you want and um, you click on the mark arrow here or you click on enter then the next thing you have to do is um we can actually bold in exactly the text and then if we are looking at it that the the title is probably a long title and we want it to you know actually come out very well all we have to do is you know the best ebook design exactly so we have this now we can actually now make it bigger by dragging it you hold down your shift and alternate button if you want to drag it evenly okay now we have this now we can actually give it um okay now this is perfect now i want you to notice that there is an ample space between the design the d of the design and this line because this is the line this is going to actually be um the spine so this is there's, there's the space from the d here to the line and the space from the e here to the line has to be equal so you have to make sure you try to perfect um your design so let's reduce the line space a little bit by using 60 okay just to 72 we can drag it to the top a little bit i think this is okay now we let us quickly create a sub title Okay, we got that, <clears throat> and then we can as well change the color of this to yellow. This is fine, beautiful. Um, if you like, you can actually change the the font, you know, you know the font style. But for this, I think we are just good to go with this. And um, after that, we are going to move to the auto name so you can just click on the text click on this and say alive academy okay all right so if we like 
we can actually change you know the color of this one too but usually we use just two three colors maximum and the usual thing is we actually um, use the same color that we use for the auto name for the title that actually makes you know your job to be uh, in harmony and makes it to look professional so I've got this here okay that's that's okay now we just look for an image let's do let's go look for an image on um, okay we got this 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 is um the stuff you guys are gonna download so I got it here so I'm just gonna copy the link and put it in your in the description box now let's go look for um money let's go look just go to google click on money type money and go to images okay so just um pick one of these nice um money images uh let's use this you have to click on the image first now then you right click and you save image as and then we can just put money image and then look at download okay i've got that saved so the next thing i want to do now is go to my download folder and look for the money image i just saved now where are you here we are so now what we have to do is basically drag or let me say we'll, we'll open you know uh okay we have it just drag it down into um the photoshop platform now i want you to notice something if you have your um highlight on any other you know tool here and you're trying to drag an image to the photoshop um template you might be able to do that and sometimes you might not be able to do that so once you try to drag and you are not able to do that all you have to do is check and then you put back your cursor at the top here to be able to do what you want to do okay there we are back here now so all we have to do is just control a and then you drag image okay this is perfect now all you have to do is just you drag the image to fill up to fill up the now there's a reason why i'm making the image you know fill up both sides you know it, it fills up the entire the entire um action script so what i just want to add now is just a little strip a little strip i want it to be a yellow strip so i'm going to be using this yellow perfect and um, i'm going to be choosing um the two rectangle two and i'll drag it just about down here perfect let's remove this one okay i think this is perfect now we are done with our book cover design and the next thing we easily are going to do is first we'll save it so i'm going to be saving this into the alive academy folder and uh, we have um, i'm going to create a new folder you see do i y do it yourself ebook cover series or do it yourself series okay diy series i think that's okay and then we'll click on it to open and then we say d diy ebook cover okay perfect 
now the next thing we are going to do now our last step is simply to come to render cover and then click on it we'll click on the play button here you can see the one that's highlighted in white and we wait for a few moments for the action script to actually convert our design into a nice looking professional ebook cover so now if you actually want to learn more about designing uh, book covers i have a very nice ebook cover course i actually did two um one is um the e-cover uh master's course and the other is um the e-cover premium course so you can just send me a pm and um, i'm going to send those courses to you just um for a token fee all right okay so now depend on how you know fast your system is this is going to take uh, a little bit of time because the action script has to generate every you know recording that the action script maker did and um, this is what we have fantastic it is what we have so the next thing we have to do is simply come to the layer panel drag down and then we remove the background by clicking on the eye icon here then we click on C just click on C which is your you know your crop tool then you crop this all right and then the last thing we're gonna do is go to image image size i just remove reduce the image size i usually use 900 uh in width so when i click on 900 in width it reduces to it reduces you know in proportion 900 and then maybe by 1000 so if i want it to be smaller i can actually reduce it in um, width the more and then we have it here perfect this is perfect so the next thing we're just gonna do is we are now going to save for web and devices you remove from jpl to pnd24 and then we are gonna save it in that same folder that we saved exactly and then we say diy ebook cover remove the psd at the back and say save and we are done here is what we just designed let's go check it out let's go check it out okay and here is what we just designed the best ebook cover design course now this is all you need to know so once you can just follow the video step by step then you're done so if you like this video and you find it um quite useful for you you could please um subscribe to my youtube channel or you can as well you know share this video on social media um accounts thank you so much and i'll see you next time in episode two of my do it yourself series thank you so much my name was again is Ariwala Raju Ali thank you and goodbye